Hey guys, my name is Jaden Xavier and I'm gonna be doing 12 Q&A questions so that you guys can get to know me. Okay, if you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? Um, I'd probably wanna know like what my job is. I don't know, not for any like reason, but like that sounds like so interesting or like where I like will live because hmm, hmm. I wanna live in Hawaii, but then I wanna go like live in New York. And then I want to stay in California at the same time. So like, will I have multiple houses? Will I have one house? I don't know. That just sounds so interesting. Okay. <laughs> if you had to eat one more meal for the rest of your life, what what would you choose? For the rest of my life, yeah, I'd probably want to do something healthy. Probably like a salad or like avocado toast or something. Something that will give me like nutrients and protein. Yeah, I'd probably do like avocado toast. Something with avocado in it. I don't know, I love avocado. If you can meet any three people dead or alive, who would you want to meet? I'd want to meet Billie Eilish because I love her music, Tame Paula because I love his music, and I can't, th there's no one else that I like, like other than music wise, like there's no one like, you know, like, <laughs> okay, probably like Playboy Cardian, but those are all music related, I don't really have like a big like idol that I look up to, like that's a celebrity, you know, I don't know. Okay, oh, this is a good one, if you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? Um, somewhere tropical. I'm trying to think. I want to go to this like hotel in the Bahamas. It's called Atlantis, I think. I'm pretty sure. And it's like they have their own beach and there's a bunch of pools and there's this water slide that like it like drops down and it goes like into this like tank almost with sharks. But you're in this like glass tube. When you're, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. But I want to go with like friends and family. That sounds like so much fun. What are your favorite movies of all time? White Chicks, that is the funniest movie ever. <laughs> and I don't really watch movies or TV shows. I like scary movies. Texas Chainsaw Massacre like creeps me out, but I like that one because, oh, and scary movie, like all the scary movies. And then like Final Destination, I like all of those. What's your favorite holiday? Probably Christmas and Thanksgiving, because like, that's the most time I spend time with my family. And Halloween, because I get to dress up. I like those three holidays. It's like the best time of the year, like the end of the year when there's like four holidays, oh wait, three holidays in a row. Not in a row, but like that are close to each other. What is your biggest pet peeve? Like, I literally hate when I'm on my phone and like someone is like looking over. Like I had nothing to hide, but like, it's like, you, don't you have your own phone? Like, I don't know, it's like weird. And then like, when people talk with like food in their mouth and they're like chomping away, that's like so annoying to me. I don't know. Anyway, what's your favorite birthday memory? Oh, the one right before COVID started. It was my 13th birthday and it was in January of 2020. And that was like three months before like the lockdown. And I went to this like VR place. Was it a VR place? Yeah. And there's like arcade games and then there's a bunch of like VR activities, I think. I don't know, but you would like stand and you'd have like straps on so you can like walk places, but you wouldn't run into stuff. I don't know, it was kind of hard to explain. And there was like scary ones where you'd like sit in this chair and it would like move when, I don't, it's so hard to explain. I'm, I'm bad at explaining things, okay? But like, I can't, remember what, I can't remember what the place was called. It was called like something circus. I don't know. It was so fun though. And then they had like arcade games too. Oh, and then you can like, I remember this. You can like rent out like a room. I don't think we didn't do this, but like you could rent out um like a room and then like there'd be like multiple people that could have the VR set. I don't know. It was so fun though. If you could travel anywhere, where would you choose? Like right now, I want to go to the Bahamas and just like lay on the beach. It sounds like so much fun. Oh my God. I love tropical places like Hawaii or like, or like the Keys in Florida even. I think my parents went there once, but I didn't go with them, but I wanna go. Cause it looks so fun now. There. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Okay, so like in elementary school, I can't remember what grade I was in. I think it was like second or third grade. So basically it rained the night before, like I was at school. And it was like mud everywhere. Okay, you can probably see where this is going. But like, there's this big like storage thing. I don't, it's hard to, it's literally like a big like block and it's like a storage thing. And me and my friends are running around it. 
and then I'm like running and I'm chasing my friend. And then like I run, oh no, I'm getting chased by my friend. I'm running around and then I see my friend and then I start running the other way and there's a like a puddle of mud and I slip in it and like my whole back is covered with mud. And then I can't remember what happened. I never ended up changing. So I just kind of like pushed through and I had mud on my pants all day, but that was pretty embarrassing. Oh, another embarrassing moment in elementary school was when, you know, like the spiral thingies on my playgrounds. I don't know what they're called, but like I was climbing up it and I missed them and I fell all the way to, <laughs> and I fell all the way to the bottom and it was like super tall. It was like, uh, I don't know, but it was like taller than me. It was like, like I'm five nine, so probably like a six foot spiral thingy and I fell flat to the ground. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. And I was like, are you okay? And I was like, that was, why did everyone have to see that? Okay. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? Flying. I want to fly because then I can go with like wherever I want, like whenever, you know, like I just like fly away and I'd get there faster too. Well, I guess that would be like teleporting too, but like then you can like at sunset, you can like go above the clouds and then you can like see like, like if it's really cloudy and it's rainy, you can go up in the clouds and then you like go past the clouds. <laughs> I saw this in a movie, in Wonder Woman, that's what she did. She like went above the clouds and then it was like the sunset and then like the rain was built. I don't know, it was so weird. I wish I could fly and then I wish I can like see people's thoughts because I'm always curious of what people are thinking. I don't know why. What's your goal for where you'll be in three years from today? In three years, I'll be a senior, I think. Okay, I just want to get like good grades, I guess. And then I want to get into a good college, probably like University of Santa Barbara, maybe? Or NYU. I wanna go to NYU for fashion. I'm not too sure yet. So, yeah, I just wanna have like good grades and like live out my last year of high school. You gotta soak up all the time that you have in high school because it goes by so fast. Do you see social media as your long term career path? If not, what would you see yourself doing? I don't think I'll be doing social media like long term, like my whole life. Not my whole life, but like I wanna get into like modeling. But then I also want to do social media at the same time, like doing like videos about modeling and fashion and stuff while doing, mo you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what I would be wanting to do because what if in three, like, like after I graduate and stuff and I'm in, and I'm in high school, what if it's like TikTok isn't really like trending anymore? I don't know. Maybe there'll be like a new app out. Cause TikTok only came out like two years ago because before that it was like musically. If you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Happy, ambitious, um, obnoxious, <laughs> and like, and dazzling. That's like a fancy word. Not like a fancy word, but that's like an extra word. Oh, extra, I'm extra. Oh, that's five words, I don't care. Oh, what advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Um, probably like, when you start posting, you're gonna get hate comments. Like, like if a video goes viral, there's obviously gonna be hate comments but you just can't like let that get to you. And I've like had hate comments before, so I know what it is, what it's like, but it's like just trolls on the internet who just like want attention. So like, just don't worry about them. Like just worry about yourself. Just be confident and like post what you want and like do what you love. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something new about me. And yeah, bye guys.